With several new initiatives being implemented this year at NHS, one of the most important changes is the shift away from standards-based grading. Last year, NHS relied exclusively on standards-based grading. It's a grading system that grades students based on set standards on a scale of one through four. This week, we interviewed teachers to find out why the school made the decision to change, how they are reacting to the changes, and how it impacts students. Standards-based grading, there's a lot sort of in it, but basically it's the idea that what you're grading is not a particular assignment or like task that you're required to do in class or for homework, but rather something that you know how to do. Like you're graded on what you know or what you can do. And what I've seen basically is that rather than doing assignments because they're required, students are doing assignments because they sort of recognize that it's useful. So it's really uh, been, it looks to me like a mindset change between we are doing things because the teacher told us to, to we're doing things because they're useful things to do. I felt like that was a good switch. It feels more like you're grading what you actually want as far as results in what students are able to do. So standards-based grading is trying to give feedback on kind of either learning standards or learning objectives. It's trying to tie the reporting and the grading of students' performance to specific standards or objectives uh, so that students have a clearer sense of what things that they are doing well and what things they have more room to improve upon. So I prefer standards-based grading to traditional grading because I think it gives extra direction to students. I think if you get back a test and the test says you got an 87, I don't find that super informative. It doesn't tell you what you did well. It doesn't tell you what specifically you need to improve upon. So I think it conveys just more information than just a, a number. What was complicated about standards-based grading in this building was that there has to be a lot of rollout in terms of building and creating standards because oftentimes the state standards are a bit unclear. What I found to be the biggest challenge was A, communicating with students and their caregivers about where they were academically, but B, was teaching students what we refer to as soft skills. Part of being a student is learning how to participate in class. It's learning how to do all the work that leads up to an assessment. And so what I found would happen often is students would ask if this would count it as a standard. And if the answer was no, sometimes the work wouldn't happen. And that meant that assessments then became really challenging for kids because they hadn't done any of the pre-work. As a teacher, I prefer more traditional grading. It's a language that students speak and students that want to go to college, it's a language that they speak and it's, it's a system that's understood. So in terms of communicating, traditional grading is, makes sense. The important part of standards-based grading, making sure that student learning is relevant, was something that we were already doing, but the numbers that correlated to grades was in a language that people understood, and that was the important part. Remember, grades are checked on Aspen this year and not Otis. Good luck.